I've manifested my life to be 100% and I'm, I stand by that 100% everything that I manifested in my life right now currently, I did this one thing. The mirror principle is running the show in your life. If you don't believe me, I'm going to express to you in this video how I have found that working on your self-concept will actually help you to start reflecting in your 3D reality the things that you truly desire to have. First things first, I want you to know that you are put in this world to live an abundant life. And if there is anything in your 3D reality that does not reflect what you truly desire to have, I want you to remember that you get to go inside of yourself and you get to change the concept of yourself. If you do not understand what self-concept is, I highly suggest that you read the Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. Simply put, self-concept is really about how you feel about yourself, how you treat yourself, and how you expect other people to treat you. It's kind of like what Neville talks about everyone as you pushed out, meaning that people, places, and circumstances in your life are literally reflecting how you feel about yourself and how you expect to be treated by other people. So now that we understand that, I'm going to teach you guys how to bend your reality so that now the mirror principle in your life is going to effectively help you to manifest things effortlessly. Number one, I need you to change your assumptions about things. Always assume that things are working out in your favor. Assume that the money that you need to have or that you desire to have is going to show up to you. Assume that the love that you desire to have from a specific person or romantic partner is going to show up for you. Do not allow your past situations that you've gone through to dictate what's going to happen for you when it comes to manifesting things in an effortless way. Now, when it comes to the mirror principle, basically think about it this way. If you're looking to manifest money, career, or even like a job that is something that people tell you that you can't have, right? And then you go into your mind and you tell yourself, no matter what other people tell me, this job is mine. No matter what anyone says to me, I'm going to manifest financial freedom. If you were to go into your actual inner self and start to tell yourself the things that you need to hear in order to feel connected to the person who has their desire, the mirror principle outside of your world would say what? I'm financially free. You literally would start to see it. And not only would you start to see that you're financially free, you would see evidence of other people giving you opportunities. You'd see evidence of your boss saying, wow, you've been doing a great job. Let me give you a raise. Whenever you're looking to change things when it comes to your inner world, is to be sure that you're not fighting for your limitations. You're not saying words. You're not affirming things that are completely against what you desire to have. Do not have any other outside influences tell you that you cannot have something. Go within, tell yourself that you're able to have something because as you do that, your outer world will start to reflect whatever it is that you're saying to yourself. So that brings me to the next thing that I want you guys to start incorporating when it comes to making the mirror principle work for you is to spend more time affirming for your self-concept. Now, I already told you guys to read The Power of Awareness, and if you would like to have a meditation to do while you're falling asleep, you can check out the MP3 that I have. I'm going to put it above here, and it's all about self-concept. It's all about affirming that things work out in my favor. People, places, and circumstances conform to my reality. I am confident in my abilities to manifest. Start actually affirming that you are a master manifester. Put yourself in the position of the person who has their desire. Because I promise you guys, there were many, many, many times in my life where I was just like, okay, things are not changing. How come I'm doing all this manifesting stuff and nothing is changing? When I started to go within and realize that my inner conversations, and this is something key that I want you guys to listen to, I have manifested my life to be 100% 
and I, I stand by that 100% everything that I manifested in my life right now currently, I did this one thing. I changed my inner conversations. I stopped complaining about the things that I did not have. I started to really understand that it's not about other people and what they have versus what I have. I stopped comparing myself to other people and I started really understanding that this is my reality to create. What I perceive things to be, how I accept people to treat me, my self-concept, how I allow myself to show up in the world. I'm getting evidence of this in my world. It may be you right out here listening to me. It could be that you have bad credit. It could be that you have poor relationships with people. It could be anything that you don't like. You are not a victim. And I want you to understand that's a good thing. Start to look at yourself as a victor and a person who can actually start to use their words, use their thoughts immediately, right now when you listen to this video. Start to say to yourself, I am capable. Things always work out in my favor. I am manifesting the life of my dreams. Say this to yourself over and over and over. Repetition will create your reality. Your reality will change when you change something internally. How do you do that? You do that by making a decision today that you're no longer going to complain about the things you do not have. You're going to work on your self-concept. You're going to make sure that the words that you're saying in your mind, your inner conversations are only aligned with a person who already has their desire. You are the operant power. So now what are you going to do? Tell me in the comments, what are you going to do now? How are you going to take the first step towards your self-concept? Are you going to really internalize what this video is telling you to do, which is to stop being a victim of your reality and start to command that things are working out in your favor and start to actually say, I am manifesting more money in my life. I am financially free. I am madly in love with my SP. My SP adores me. My SP is committed to me. I have great health. Start to really internalize that. Use all of your energy towards that. And when you use your energy and focus towards that, your outer world will show you a reflection of what you are saying to yourself all day, every day. If you're looking to build with like-minded people, I want you to consider checking out my group membership, The Sweet Spot. I have weekly challenges, monthly challenges, and workshops, master classes. This is literally something that I have conceived in my mind for years. If you're looking for something that will give you a sense of safeness, it'll give you a sense of having support from a mindset and manifestation coach in a group setting then I need you to consider checking out what the sweet spot entails. Just check it out, the link below. Check it out, see if you like it. And if you do, then subscribe. All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.